Good morning from a very sunny Cornwall today. Absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, I'm at the lodge. So this is where my mum and dad have took me for my 30th. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. You can see the sea in the background just there. So we have this big lodge here um, and you walk in and I've got my little room which is just to the right here. It's a bit messy so do you mind the mess but it's enough for what I need. I've got like two beds there and then you come out here. I've got my own bathroom which is good because um, my mum and dad have the ensuite which is nice and then you've got another bedroom here. There's actually more than enough space for like what family of four and like yeah two adults um and you walk upstairs this is my favorite bit i like how it's um upside down oh it's warm already big massive kitchen what i liked about it as well when we came um they actually gave us like a breakfast package so you had like sausage bacon eggs like cornish um apple juice you got a bottle of champagne as well which was nice to have when we first arrived yeah it's lovely um big massive front room here we've got absolutely loads and then the view outside how stunning is that it's absolutely gorgeous our one of the, well i'm trying to get back our lodge is the signature deluxe one um so i can i know you can get these ones here um but these i don't think they have a hot tub well ours does have a hot tub so yeah so today i am going to the eden project i'm also doing a sip wire which is next to the eden project so i'm looking forward to doing that but i've always wanted to go to the eden project as i've said like don't just like to go to theme parks i love exploring different places um so yeah i'm looking forward to checking it out and seeing what it's all about so yeah i hope you enjoy this vlog um i have been here since saturday now and oh god it's so warm up here really by i feel like the heating's still on i have been here since saturday so we drove down from darling to where i live which was about eight hours um it was yeah it was quite a long drive but me and my mum split it between us and um, we got here had a couple of drinks relax and then yesterday we went to st ives in newquay and i'm not joking though like st ives was absolutely stunning like i've never known like the bit the sea to be them colors like it was just all like blue and green and turquoise it was just gorgeous but i, I was saying like, i was saying to like my mum and dad like feels like you were bored because there's like palm trees everywhere you go it's just everyone's just dead relaxed and friendly but yeah love Cornwall and looking forward to the rest of the week as I said we've got a couple of vlogs coming up Milky Way Park um and also the big sheep which I'm looking forward to getting to go to and so there'll be loads of nice little lambs and animals so yeah join us for this um solo vlog from me um and yeah, let's have a good day. Right, so I've just got all of my kit on, um, just all harnessed up. They actually had to give me some um, tracky bottoms as I was wearing a dress which was a bit silly but never mind weather is absolutely beautiful now gorgeous love it out here um so obviously we're doing this um which is the hang hang loose adventures um it's around 30 pounds online but there is loads of other activities you can do as well um but i'm doing the sip line which is you've got 60 miles per hour I think this place the guy said has been open about six or seven years which isn't too long it's actually a separate company to the Eden project um, I'm re yeah I'm very very nervous now but I'm looking forward to it I wonder if Tom would have done this <laughs> but yeah all my kit on and I just think we just have to wait to be seen to now <laughs>
top. I'm gonna put protective goggles on, the helmet here, and the chest harness. The lady there is getting all um, harnessed up, ready to go. You can see the beautiful sea there as well in the background. It's gonna be a st stunning view. Looking over the Eden Project. I'm feeling a little bit nervous though, but it'll be fine. Very excited to do it. As I said, I love stuff like this. Love doing, like when we did, did it go away, that was brilliant. But yeah, as soon as I saw this down here, I thought I'm gonna have to do it. <sighs> be brave and get on with it. So here's my dad, ready to go. The lady's just going down there, you can see in the background. <laughs> so that's what you put your feet onto, what my dad's holding onto. Very brave. <laughs> I think he said he's a little bit nervous now, but he'll be fine. Here he goes. I think he has to wait for the signal to be able to go. Whee! There he goes. Flying like he's on air. Or Galactica or Alton Tower. Here I go. Oh, I'm so nervous. You are better than what? I'm just hanging on like this. Oh, oh, put my hands on. Lovely flight. Remember, I'm in the black sweatshirt. You'll be flying sweet oh. too. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, wow. Look at this. line there that was fantastic really enjoyable quite scary actually um yeah when you were flying but you've seen like lovely views it was brilliant like seen all over like eden project and nice weather as well but yeah it was very short like it, i think what took for about 30 oh <laughs> took 30 seconds to um like obviously fly across but yeah the staff were the staff were great if you are around this area and you are looking for something like thrilling to do i would recommend it um yeah but we're making our way around now um to the eden project and this opened in 2001 i um, always wanted to come and see um this obviously it's just like big biodomes um with like loads of obviously different plants um from obviously different countries and things like that don't know a lot about it but i'm sure i'll find out once i'm inside but yeah let's um have a fun day at the eden project <laughs> inside the Eden project now um, it's huge it's absolutely massive I'll show you here this is when it was designed obviously back in 1999 um, it was a massive clay pit and obviously they built the biodomes in it but you can see that bio mess that's it I think that's how you pronounce it if I get anything wrong with pronunciations please just tell me in the comments um, yeah the windows going in there but then this is the map over here, so you've got 
the rainforest, which I'm looking forward to going in. The Mediterra Mediterranean area, big stage here, arena, invisible worlds. Five journeys to enjoy in the outdoor garden. So yeah, it's got all the different areas. Yeah, this is very, I think this is going to be very interesting. Um, and like lots of things to do there's also got like a land train as well which you can take i think around it um but yeah looks absolutely massive i think we're going to get some lunch we've actually just bought our own lunch here today um it's like we've been eating out and things we ate out last night at port reef um and it was an absolutely beautiful sunset it was amazing right down on the beach and we just ate at like a little um a little pub but yeah just want to say if you've never been to Cornwall please come it's absolutely incredible like love the Lake District Yorkshire moves and things like that but Cornwall you know it's it, it is up there with like the scenery and everything it's getting a bit a little bit cloudy now but it's still warm yeah we'll make our way around and see what we can find now yes I've just been reading here that um obviously when they first built it it had like loads and loads of water so they have they've had to build like a drainage system um they had look there 43 million gallons of water was drained into the pit back in 1999 in the first two months yeah i can imagine because obviously where it is it's like a massive like valley isn't it like obviously the clear pit so the the water will will stay in here but it's beautiful it's so like peaceful lots of like school trips as well with the little vests on but yeah I like it here right so it's very loud because it's full of little um well full of kids but you stand here and you can move and this is to do with the carbon i think <laughs> See if I can move that. Yeah, there. You can see my arm. Yeah, we just come inside to this section here. Um, water. Some of them are not working actually. Like this one's not working either, as you can see. But there's absolutely loads to see. Loads of um, information. All about the ocean, like invisible world. <laughs> they're so loud aren't they really really loud and then you come over to this bit then you can get the lift upstairs here and this takes you to the car cafe invisible world of food rock garden exhibition gallery into this garden here it's gorgeous like the, all the color of the water it's all blue and um, there's loads of dragonflies as well the only thing that's annoyed me is like there's some rubbish there and i just 
why do people do it? There's loads and loads of bins around um, and they decide to put it in the pond. Not very nice, but hey, but yeah, having a lovely day today. It's absolutely boiling, really warm. You can see all here. Beautiful gardens, stunning. Obviously, if you are into your gardens, definitely come down here. Got all the information about water garden. Goes all the way around. Yeah. It's a bit like Forbidden Corner, isn't it? When you've got to skip around it. Yeah, it tells you all the information here. There. I think we're making our way into one of the bigger domes here, which is actually called by, by I'm trying to think of the word. I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, they are called biomes, and I was calling them biomes, I think. So, yeah. We're making our way round now. It's about 16 degrees now. It's a bit windy, but it's beautiful for me as well. How stunning! Like the the gardens are immaculate. Absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, my mum and dad love stuff like this. Um, but it's not, it is definitely nice to come and check out. There's actually, if you can see there, there's um, a land train that goes around all of it. So I think we'll definitely try and get on that in a bit. But here's like the entrance here. It's got all the different flowers as well. Yeah, so we've just come to get an ice cream now. I've just got the mint chocolate with a flake. Yeah, lovely weather. So I thought we'd sit down, have an ice cream, and then we'll make our way around to one of the dorms. As I said, we were going to go to the dorm, but you can't resist a nice Cornish ice cream. Honestly, I love it here. So, so nice. Yeah. Hope you are enjoying the vlog without without Tom in it. We'll be back. We're going to, we're going to Blackpool in a couple of weeks, so that'll be fun to get back there. Um, I think we're going to go to the South Pier as well, um, and I'll get myself on the walls and things there. Yeah, but beautiful weather with a nice ice cream. Right, so now we're going into the Mediterranean Dome. This is gorgeous in here. Huge and massive dome. You can hear all the birds, all the different plants. Journey through the Mediterranean's paradise, South Africa's garden. Taste history in the world's kitchen of gardens. Yeah, there's absolutely love. I don't know what they're doing down here. Must be doing some work or something here. Transformation. So this is like the map here that tells us where we are. Um, so we are there, and then you've got, it's hard to see with that barrier, Mediterranean, California, South Africa, Western Australia, crops. It's like a restaurant in here. Yeah, it's definitely got that Mediterranean, like Spanish feel around here, like with the terraced and things. Mm. Very nice. Some stairs going up there. Look at the mosaic on the floor. Feels like I could be in Spain. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. plant here that apparently if you put your fingers on it um, you can that is so nice really lemony it smells like lemon sherbet mm, really nice yeah the lemon scented leaves make an uplifting herbal tea
Just walking down now, I just want to say it's absolutely boiling in here. Obviously because the sun's actually coming into it, it's making it a lot warmer than what I think it would be. I'm imagining it as well, probably in the winter time, that they'll have to obviously kind of heat this to keep all of the plants alive. Because a lot of the plants are from like California, um, obviously even like the, the desert etc. So yeah, it's absolutely lovely out here. Really nice and then you've got like say here the Western Australia area home to thousands of plant species and then I don't know what is down this section here there's like a little pond here <laughs> South Africa yeah South Africa here these are quite are these sharp no they're not they're very they're quite soft actually they look sharper than they are they're not they're not that sharp yeah let's go see this little pond here and then we're going to go into the rainforest like side of it and basically how you do it is you walk walk inside and then there's like a massive like cafe eating area um you go you can take the lift or you can take the stairs up and um, we got we went right into the mediterranean section and then you can go left into the rainforest area but it's huge plenty to do i would say it's brilliant for for kids obviously there's a lot of school trips here as well um but you can do i think you can do like different tours throughout of the day we haven't done any tours um we're just making our way around ourselves We've just come to this point here where, as I was saying earlier, I did wonder how it was actually like made cool and hot. Um, it says here, warm the back warm wall of our giant lean-to greenhouse acts as a heat store. The sun is absorbed in the day. The heat slowly comes out at night. Um, it's got seven air handling units that blow in the warm air when required. Um, and then the cool, which you've got computer control vents in the top and side. Yeah. Obviously, they've got sprinklers as well. Because I did wonder that, I did actually think like how do they um, keep it warm and how do they keep it cool but yeah they've got like a system that does it for them. So next we are going into the rainforest biome. I see completely different to the other one into the sense of like it's windy um, and like all the senses and things. Oh there's like little birds in here as well apparently. My mum and dad's with young chicks, please don't pick us up, we need our personal space. Oh, I hope I see some little chicks. there is actually a cool room so you can come in here it's got nice aircon on and you have some friends which are the ants there's loads around here yeah plenty of water fountains as well i've seen as we've been walking around and um, i think we're going to make our way around this section and then we go to the rainforest and the waterfall there's also like bridges um like just up here so you can walk along there I don't think you realise like how big it is until you actually start walking around it. Like you, you just don't. There's like loads and loads of um, like things to see and do. Yeah, it's, it is very informative. I did read online that they're meant to be making one near Markham, um, but I'm not sure how true that is. It does say on Wikipedia, but again, Wikipedia doesn't always have the correct information, does it? 
But yeah, like yesterday we did um, 20,000 steps, I think, and then today we've already done about 8,000. So quite a lot of walking on this holiday, but I, I love, like, like I said, we like to keep active and stuff. Especially when you eat and loads. Like last night, we had a lovely, I had a lovely burger. It was really nice. I am red hot. Feel like I'm back in California. And I was going to wear jeans today, so I'm, I'm glad that I, I didn't wear them and I just wore my dress, dress. But even then, it's still quite heavy. Yeah, they said that the temperature does get up to 35 degrees. I can imagine in, even in here today, outside I think it's 18, so in here it's probably about 20, I would say, 22. Obviously the, we're getting up, the higher we're getting up, it's obviously getting warmer. I don't know where this waterfall is, just walking around. I can see a little bit of water here. We've come to the top of the dome, and I'm not joking, it is red hot. Really, really warm but I'm just amazed by it like all of the events and things it's just brilliant but you can see all of this here I think how high we've come like we've walked all the way around there um, and, oh there's a bridge here one, one way so can't get back let's go on the bridge is it a bouncy one? Yeah, there's um, where me and Tom want to go, it's Annick Gardens, which is up Northumbria. They have a big massive like tree house, like play area, and they've got a big bridge that you can walk across, and it's really bouncy. <laughs> so yeah, we'll definitely do a vlog from there. I feel like someone's bouncing on it as well, but it's just me. Yeah. Oh walking now up the bridge and then we'll go out <sighs> yeah no entry can't go back that way okay, so you've got like the mists here to cool you off because obviously we are at the the highest point oh that is lovely that's so nice reminds me of like when you know you're at a theme park and you get all of the, the mist sorry if there's any going on the camera oh my god you can't see anything oh I think I'm getting a bit wet, I might as well quick out now, my legs are sore. Right, so as you can see we've come to I think like the highest point here. Um, near enough apart from up there obviously, but we can't go up there. This is the waterfall. This is stunning, like so pretty, beautiful. And it's getting a nice breeze onto my legs as well. Before we head down. We have to go all the way around the corner now, um, down the stairs. Yeah, beautiful, really, really beautiful waterfall. Obviously, it's all man-made as well. Ends in like the tour. Uh... Yeah, so we've just come out of the rainforest um, dome and we've come on to the train now. So I think this takes us all of the way around. So hopefully we get some nice footage. I did enjoy the rainforest one better than the Mediterranean one. I think we were just saying, like me and mum and dad, that we did prefer that one. Um, but I don't know, I found like there wasn't as many staff in that one. But there was like loads of information that you could look at and the waterfall was amazing. It was lovely. Yeah, this takes us, as you can see, there's the dome in the background. Fantastic, really nice. And I think the last time you can get on this train is at quarter to five. So I think they're every half an hour. And it's like just the land train. So yeah, we'll get some nice footage.
Yes, yeah, so I'm just ending my day here at the Eden Project. It's so windy now. I um, had a brilliant day today, it's been fantastic. Just want to say thank you as well to Hang Loose Adventures, which was the zip line, and also Eden Project for the tickets. 100% um, come here if you are visiting Cornwall. There's like there's so much to do here. We've spent what time did we get here? I think we got here for 10 o'clock for the zip line. Um, so that was about an hour, and then we've been here about four hours. So it's enough time to to do it all. So tomorrow we are going for a lovely walk, about six miles. We're going to Tinnagall Castle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Tin yeah, I think so. Um, we're going there for a nice walk and then Thursday we're going to the Milky Way Adventure Park and also the Big Sheep so there'll be two vlogs coming from there but yeah I'm, I'm, I really am enjoying Cornwall I love it down here it's amazing but yeah thank you f um, for watching the vlog if you are new and b um, come across this video then please do subscribe as we do do a lot of other content from all around Europe the UK and America as well and we do plan to go back to America um, thank you for watching and we also have Instagram which is Tom underscore and underscore, underscore stays and that's also our Twitter as well. So thank you for watching um, and also please give it a big like, a comment and a subscribe and we will see you, well I will see you at the next vlog which will be Milky Way Adventure Park. Thank you.